What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have dyed my hair true red. Yes, I did this because I felt like I needed a drastic change in my life because I was sick of being purple for Halloween. So this transformation took five and a half hours. <laughs> it cost a pretty penny. Anyway, so I got it done Friday. Today is Monday and my stylist told me because this is my first fashion color where I had to bleach my hair like crazy. I have the transformation over on my TikTok, which I'll link below. Um, but this was a very drastic process. You can see my fingers are red still, but she told me because to let the color sit on my hair for at least two to three days without trying to have to wash it while it's beginning of day three. And I desperately need to wash my hair. And I'm gonna see how red my body turns and my shower and everything else in between. So let's go. All right, you guys ready for this? This is fashion colors for you. Anything outside of blonde, brunette, black, anything in the rainbow is a fashion color. So if you're thinking about doing this but you don't want your hair to bleed, don't do fashion colors. There's my shower for all intents and purposes. Yes, I will be cleaning this, don't worry. But I'm just showing the aftermath of the first wash. Here's my recommendation. If you are doing this for the first time, which technically I'm really not, um, even though it's like a bleached out process that I've had to do, don't wear any light colored clothing. Don't wear white. Don't wear anything unless it's just a bra. You don't mind getting the color on because it's going to bleed on you and then you're gonna have to take a bunch of baby wipes and you know wipe it off kind of thing as I look at myself in the mirror. So I'm going to blow dry my hair and let's see how this turns out. Actually, I want to say one thing real quick before I blow dry and style my hair. Um, if you are going to have colored hair of any sorts, whether you bleached it out or not, you need to invest in high-end hair care products, not any of that Walmart, Tresemme, Suave bullshit. You need good hair care products, high-end. These, bleh. this is Color Wow. This, I believe, is $18 a bottle. Um, Goldwell is another really good one. I'm sure there's some at Walmart that you should get, but I don't. The, I use to spray on my hair before I blow dry it as a heat protectant is the Goldwell Cura Silk Style. That's what that is. This little thing is 2.5 ounces. This was $18, but it does last a while. So invest in good hair care, otherwise your color is going to fade in just a few washes, so. Okay, so just for all intents and purposes, I put on a t-shirt that I do not care about that I've had for years, and I'm going to show you. Um, if you want to brush your hair out, remember, always start at the end, use a wet brush, a brush that is designed to brush your hair wet, or you can use a big wide tooth comb thing. I don't, but that's, again, this is all personal preference. So after all that, this is literally all the hair that came out, which is really impressive. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my carousel, go on top. Yeah, yeah. That's my son, he's right here. Don't be shy with it. Yeah, yeah. He's watching Coco. Get your ends because the ends are the driest. Also, I only condition my hair from here down. I don't use conditioner on the top of my head. Makes my scalp really slick. <laughs> Brush it through. Again, don't do this if you have a regular t-shirt on because it's already bleeding out on me a little bit right here. Okie dokie, so I obviously spared you the part where you didn't have to watch me blow dry my hair, but this is my hair 
blow dried out. It's long, it's thick. It took three bottles, three tubes of red, and I want to say five things of bleach to get this. And yes, this is an aerial red. I'm going to attempt to straighten it. Is my neck red? Oh, yeah, it's still pretty red in the back. That's okay though. Part of the process. Trust the process. But I mean, come on, look at this. This is a lot of hair. Is it heavy? Not really. I'm used to it after all these years. This it's a lot of hair. Now the way my hairstylist does my hair is she uses a big, thick, round brush and blow dries it. Obviously, I can't do that because um, I'm just, I'm not that coordinated and the round brush she uses is like this big. So, and then she straightens the, um, the roots and then she curls it. And it always looks so, so amazing afterwards, obviously. But now I'm just kind of going through and straightening it, hoping that I can maybe get some curls in it. So I totally forgot I have a repair guy coming and I'm not going to curl my hair right now, but I am going to use the Goldwell just smooth taming oil for my ends. You just need like one and a quarter pumps on your hand. That's it. Do this. And then do this. Actually, I think I might do just one more. Because this oil goes a long way. This keeps your ends smooth and just your hair looking natural, vibrant, and beautiful. And that's it. That's all I'm doing for today. So be sure to come back next time. So I will curl my hair then. I promise, promise, promise. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye!